the past week, we've had a program with YouTube, who has come to develop workshops with us around a range of topics, all of which have to do with the evolution of the media landscape. And YouTube is kind of right there on the front lines of all the incredible change that's taking place. And right now, we're working on kind of a bigger issue. We're trying to sort of figure out what is the future of video news? We don't even call it broadcast news anymore, but what is the future of video news? There are going to be new opportunities in that space that are going to emerge in the next couple of years, and they're going to be pretty dramatically different from what we know today. So going on behind me, we have students trying to sort of map out what that future looks like and come up with kind of an idea, a prototype, a, a vision. We can then, in the next couple of years, try to put that into practice and build that and create that and have our students really be the ones to author that kind of future. Well, the goal of this week is really for our students to work with practitioners who are really cutting the edge of what the media ecosystem is all about. And YouTube is the perfect fit for what we're doing. YouTube has transformed how celebrities are understood in culture. YouTube is fundamental to the cultural production process. YouTube has really unlocked a profound level of entrepreneurial activity. And so for our students to work with executives that are on the front lines of all of that, it's a really remarkable opportunity. Take a look, see if you can turn it on. So push it until the little symbol on the front has a video camera, not a stills camera. We are here working on 360 degree videos. We have been learning how to create a 360 degree video and they all broke up into teams, went out and shot their first 360 video and are now uh, watching it in Google Cardboard, having their first experience in creating virtual reality video. We are used to telling stories like this with a frame and now this is a way of saying there is no more frame and how do I tell a story in which the viewer is capable of looking in any direction? How do I guide their attention? Do I need to guide their attention or can they just have their own choice? If you have too much choice, you lose the narrative thread. So that is the challenge for the 360 degree filmmaker. We didn't know at the time that, that we were building our brand um, so clearly. I think we, we were like, oh, well, we, we like telling this kind of story and that's all it is. Wong Fu really did become a brand that was actually very advertiser friendly and sponsor friendly. Every year, the Media Economics and Entrepreneurship Program has a Executive in Residence Week where we have someone from the media world come and talk to us and spend time with us and work with students on a lot of the different problems and challenges and opportunities that are happening in the media landscape. And this year, we have a series of executives from YouTube, including the person who's anchored all of this, Lance Podell, who is the global head of YouTube Spaces. 12 of the top 20 celebrities for high schoolers are YouTube creators. One of the things that he's in charge of is kind of cultivating the YouTube community of creators and understanding how YouTube talent evolves and where to find it and what to do with it. This is kind of the capstone of our year. This has to do with a lot of the questions that we ask ourselves at the M2E program, which is, you know, what is the future of media? What is the role of advertising? How are we going to sort of fund all this? What are the viewing habits of people? How are they shifting and changing? And how do we have to evolve with those changes to create new type of media to service them? Having YouTube here has allowed us to kind of confront so many different questions and so many different issues about gender in media, children in media, media economics, all of these things, and that's really just been a wonderful opportunity.